Hi, I'm Kim, and you're watching Kim Wilson TV. Today we're going to discuss uh, the many ways uh, the narcissist exposes himself and how I ultimately pulled my off, simply exposing him, uh, bringing us to the point of the final grand finale. It was the end. One of the ways that the narcissist uh, really shows his true colors and is fully exposed is with uh, the narcissistic discard. Uh, this is where you're going along as a couple one minute and then all of a sudden chop and you're severed as if you didn't even exist, immediately replaced and, and basically forgotten about. Um, normal, healthy, well-adjusted people simply are incapable of this sort of thing uh, as a relationship is ending, but this is extremely common and very, very prevalent amongst covert narcissists. Narcissists will very readily uh, expose themselves through their pathological lying. Uh, lying is very, very much part of who they actually are because they're constantly trying to mask the person they have perceived their self to be. And this is quite often a very dark, macabre, uh, unworthy, worthless, shame-based, self-loathing sort of individual. So that's how they feel about themselves. They don't want the world to see that. So they're in a state of desperation their entire lives trying to hide this and, and get a mask firmly in place so the world can't see them. But the lying is um, ultimately their demise. They're habitual liars. They are absolute chronic cheaters. Now, they cheat for several reasons. Uh, one is a superior sense of self-entitlement. They think they can. Really don't care who they hurt or how they're actions affect people, so they they believe they can. Plus, uh, since they're uh, unable to connect on a human level, uh, like supply sex is just that. It's more supply. It feeds their ego and feeds their ego. Um, their desperate need to feed their ego, you know, once uh, you, you get a good clear look at that, that is all telling. Narcissists need desperately to have their ego stroked continuously. They cannot stand even the smallest amount of criticism, a criticism so minute that it would not even register with a normal, healthy, sane individual. But this will send them into an absolute fight to the death sort of mind lock and you know the emotional abandonment and and the discard and now they're dumping you and it can be just anything because they are so deeply shame based any additional shame to what they've already inflicted on themselves is uh is completely unbearable they simply can't have it they are most certainly going to expose themselves through a technique called gaslighting. Gaslighting is a practice very, very common to the covert narcissist uh, to inflict on their victim a sense that they are disorientated, that they can't trust their own feelings, they can't trust their own eyes, they can't believe what they just heard. and. You know, you're going to hear a lot of stuff like you're crazy, you're bipolar, you're sick, you need help, you should be on medication. You know, this will just go on and on and on. Gaslighting is extremely common. And if they're doing this to you, they're telling you they're a narcissist. One surefire uh, sign that you're dealing with a narcissist is uh, envy. They are gravely envious of everything and everyone. They want people to be envious of them, or at least the uh, false front they've put put up. And uh, they're bitterly, bitterly jealous about everything. Absolutely jealous about everything and everyone. 
If your narcissist is anything like mine, they have exposed themselves in countless ways. Now, these are only a few of the most common, most prevalent ways, but there's lots of ways that the narcissist exposes themselves. Now, in my case, my narcissist had done something that was the absolute straw on the camel's back. That was it. It was over, and there was no going back on that. Now, he kept denying and denying and saying things like, why can't you believe me? Like putting the onus back on me that it was not his responsibility to come clean, uh, confess, say he's sorry, none of that. But the onus was on me to believe the absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so when I had had enough, I just put it straight to him in written form, A, this is what I know. B, this is what I know. With, you know, substantiating evidence to each one. When backed into a corner like that, well, he had no no choice but to, you know, fly into his death fight rage and then uh, completely shut down and, um, you know, completely discard me, which is what I truly wanted to happen. Uh, that was the whole point of unmasking him. And it worked beautifully in my favor. Thanks for visiting Kim Wilson TV today. And uh, please leave a comment. I'd love to uh, know your thoughts on what we're doing here. And I'd love to get to know you. Take care and stay safe from narcissistic abuse.